just hold it. So this is a work in progress entitled Spatial Form and Social Practices in Beaches of Natal, Brazil. I'm a visiting research student, so I started in Brazil in 2012, and I'm going to finish it up there in 2016. My supervisor here is Kevin, and uh, Kevin Karimi, and in Brazil, Edge Trigueiro. So urban beaches in Brazil, they're generally important leisure and socialization spaces, uh, generally because most of the biggest cities in Brazil are coastal, but also because of poor maintenance of other areas, such as parks and squares, and also because of natural attributes and culture. So in my master's research, um, relations were found between building type, uh, location, and uses at the beach huts in Praia do Futuro, Fortaleza. And we expect to other uh, patterns of, of this type to arise in other beaches because people tend to go to, to different beaches, different groups. Um, so our question is how does spatial and built form relate to social practices in Natal's beaches? Uh, this, for now, I'm relating uh, built form and spatial form, and when I go back, I will uh, survey the social practices, so it's an ongoing research. Natal is located in northeast Brazil, and many of the, of the biggest cities are also on the coast. We have Rio de Janeiro and Fortaleza, which was a master's, uh, and Natal is a medium uh, large city of about one million people. And it's divided by a river and close to where the, the city started. And uh, the beaches chosen, they're located quite differently uh, throughout the city. Hedging up north, Mayo close to the old city, and Ponta Negra, which is the biggest one to the south of Natal. All of them have uh, beach huts that are quite um, similar to each other because of the pro uh, refurbishment project. But the landscape, the location, the public, they vary quite, quite a bit. And even the distribution of uh, these beach huts and uh, the surrounding users. So Hejinha is the smallest one of the studied beaches. And part of it faces the river, part of it faces the beach. And although it's really close to this new bridge, it's quite far away if you really try to access it. And the beach huts are, are located quite close to each other. And Praia do Meio, it has a larger promenade, and then the beach huts are located with a bit more, a bit more sparsely. And close to it, you have uh, high-rise buildings, but also slums, so it's um, quite different from Hedinha. Ponta Negra is the biggest of the studies be studied beaches, and it's also the one that varies more uh, it's built form throughout its coast. Because part of it, for instance, you can access it only with the promenade. Part of it, you have uh, the street and the promenade close to the beach. And other parts in the extremes, you don't have either one. So one of the ways to uh, study spatial form is through space syntax analysis, which is basically looking at the open spaces of the city as places for movement, co-presence, and encounters. And through the Excel map, we can get to understand places that are more shallow, which are in red, and places that are more segregated, in blue. In at, uh, these integration levels, they normally uh, approximate two movement in the city. And if you look at the Golgo integration, uh, the most integrated uh, beach is Praia do Meio, and then Ponta Negra, and then Reginha. Even in a local analysis, of uh, topological analysis, Hegia still is quite uh, the most segregated, and all the beaches are a bit um, quite separated from the main streets of the city. And then in choice levels, uh, choice levels are more about through movement in the city. So even here, if you look at the main uh, routes of through movement, it's really separated from, from the beach area as well. And also it shows more or less a tendency in Brazil that these streets have uh, newer buildings and that normally relates to shallowest uh, places with more renewals. And in local choice, 
we end up seeing more informal settlements, which are normally slums. So we can uh, pick out a bit more how these areas uh, function in a local scale, with Praia do Meio having more uh, informal settlements close to it. If we compare the built form at the promenade, we can notice a few things that are interesting between the beaches. Is that in Ponta Negra you have more touristic users, such as hotels and restaurants. In May we have a few vacant uh, premises close to the to the promenade, pro, to the promenade. and Hejinha has the simplest um, land users. And then if you look at the interface, we also can notice a, a few things even in the same beach. As in Porta Negra, the southern part is a lot more constituted than the, than the northern part. And now we are in the, in the phase of expanding the, the land use survey for the surroundings so we can compare how they, they change one from one to the other and understand how the surrounding feeds back when we compare the social practices by the beach. So this one is in, in, in uh, Praia do Meio, but we'll probably um, do a finer grain classification. And then when I go back, one of the things that, uh, one of the um, aspects to understand social practices is a questionnaire survey asking how do people use that beach, how often, how long do they take to get to that, that area, who they are, and many other things, but thank you for your for time. <laughs>